This is the easiest system to snap together. I'll show you all the different parts and pieces that made this system. We'll go through it. The risers, how there's no tools required. Everything is a slip fit, no glue. A French drain might not be what you need. A French drain is pretty expensive and it's a lot of work to put in if you DIY it. A yard drain, however, is a fraction of the cost, fraction of the work, a lot easier to install. All right, the men are putting in a roof runoff system. They're gonna utilize the downspout line for putting in a yard drain. We're gonna be catching surface water. There's a negative grade here. The yard's really high here and then it slopes down towards the house. There is a swale, so the guys are doing a great job running this in the low point. This is gonna be a beautiful yard drain roof runoff system combination. Make the most of your sweat equity. We have a downspout line right here coming in. We have a downspout line right there with an inline catch basin for shingle gravel. We're actually going to feed a line up here because water likes to lay right there. A yard drain is a lot less work and a lot less money when compared to a French drain. If surface water is your only concern, yard drain will take care of that. If you have a problem where you have to get rid of moisture from the subsurface, a French drain is the only way to do that. But for standing water, a yard drain is all you'll need. Once you get rid of the surface water, the bulk water, it dries out fairly quick. By running these downspouts around out to the front yard, we're going around the corner of the house out to the front yard and we're discharging this into a ditch. If you don't leave that water to sit behind your house, just saturating your subsoils, the subsoils never reach a point of saturation. No more water, no more problems. Grab it up, catch it right at the downspouts. Grab it up and catch it right in the low points. And get it discharged safely away from the home. People are too quick to go to a French drain. In many cases, French drains are installed and all you really needed was a yard drain. We're using our inline catch basin for surface water. You can see how easy it hooks up. Quick connect. The guys did drill holes in it and they are gonna put a little fabric under it with some drainage stone. It's not gonna require a lot of stone. We're actually just gonna use some bag stone since we didn't come in loaded with stone for a French drain. Again, this is just a yard drain. This will take care of surface water. Quick connect, fast, easy. It's 35 degrees here in Michigan. So everything has a lot less give and a lot less flex. Really nice connection. Putting a little drainage stone around the catch basin, underneath the catch basin, so that the water after a rain event can leach into the subsoil. We drill really small holes in the bottom of the catch basin. We have three risers. That means we had to lift it six inches. No tools required, no sawzall, no screwdriver. They just slip on. And what's nice is when you backfill with stone or dirt, there's this flange, so it slips on. 
and then it's held in place because of this flange. When you take the lid off, it can't come up and off the basin. So that's how we designed this to be slip fit, dry fit, no glue required, no screwdriver needed, no saws all, this nice two inch lifts. Beautiful yard drain. Gonna grab up all that water that normally lays right behind this house. We're gonna do it by using a downspout line. Big difference, a lot less work, a lot less haul out, a lot less haul in. You don't use any stone to speak of. You don't have to haul out much dirt to speak of. Beautiful, quick connect. Always put your risers on before you put your stone around your basin. You know, that way you can set your height with your spacers, get your spacers in place. It's a lot easier to put the riser on the catch basin before you have any stone put around the catch basin. Again, this is not a French drain, this is a yard drain. So we're just backfilling with the exact same dirt that we dug up and out of the trench. The dirt's gonna hold the risers in place. Put dirt on the flange, the riser's going nowhere. You can see how they stack really nice. They give you two inch lifts. A really nice yard drain system, requires no tools. All it requires is just a shovel, some ambition. We usually use a four inch corrugated line for our downspout systems with yard drains combined. That way it could take all the water We have several downspouts tied in on this main four inch line, along with several yard drains. See how easy it goes together, how simple it is to backfill. Super easy system. Everything has been designed by the contractors that install it. All those parts are HDPE. None of it is recycled. It is all virgin material. We have a vented clean out leaf filter. We are running the screen in the leaf filter because of the trees in this area. The guys did a really nice job of using a Y with a 45 degree fitting. You can see how nice the water flows. You wanna keep the velocity up on your system. Always set your transit up in an area where you can get readings from the whole dig. So the guys dug behind this house and they needed to take readings from this laser level, okay? The laser transit. They're reading their elevations and they were hitting their mark for slope. 
then they are able to still when they're down the side of the house going towards the front they're still able to take their readings why because they put their laser transit in a location where from the whole entire install they're able to read their elevations you know this is experience this is the way you want to run all your jobs find a place that you can put your laser transit set it and the transmitter and receiver can communicate with one another so you can work the whole job site getting those readings beautiful job absolutely beautiful job guys are setting their risers now these yard drains because of our large sediment trap we're going to be able to catch shingle gravel as well so the line is never going to plug and if you're backfilling and you're worried about dumping dirt in your grate just put some tape over it until you're done with all your backfill. Beautiful job. Beautiful job. Really nice. Easy to access, easy to clean. Whether the customer cleans it or whether they call you out for service as a contractor, you want to be able to have easy access, really nice catch basins, really nice sediment trap. Each one of these inline sediment traps will hold one gallon of sediment. So when you run down this line, for example, we got a gallon of sediment right there because we have one of these right here. We can grab a gallon of sediment right there. Same thing because we have an inline sediment trap that will hold a gallon. This continues. Another one right here. Another one right here because if you have a yard drain, you're taking in surface water, you're going to get contaminants. You're going to get grass blades, leaves just yard debris you want to have a nice sediment trap that can hold anything that's heavy and going to sink to the bottom that way it doesn't plug your drainage system now if it floats and it just floats out to the ditch no worries that's not going to be a problem for your yard drain it's the heavy sediments that settle in the bottom of your pipe that build up and clog your system you can see all the leaves there in the gutter. Need to get up on your roof with a blower, clean out all those leaves. What's gonna happen, those leaves are gonna get stuck right here. This is where they plug, right in these elbows. Now this is a two by three, so they plug really easy. Anything small, any leaves that makes it this far, they'll get picked up right here. They'll get screened out. Super easy to clean. Super easy to maintain. But for your bulk leaves that are just piling up in your gutter, definitely get on a, an A ladder and just take a blower. And just blow those out. Or hire somebody to get on your roof that does this full time and they're equipped for it. You can see we're catching all the water right here in this swale. Grabbing up the water, running it right out front to the ditch. You can see the high ground behind this house. You can see how there's this swale. This was purposely done years ago by a finished grader who knew what he was doing. Did a really nice job directing the bulk water around this house. 
we're going to help this water more efficiently move out to the front ditch. We have an inline sediment trap right here on this discharge line. Grab that shingle gravel that's coming off that downspout. You guys did a beautiful job. Really nice tie-in. Keeping the velocity up on the roof runoff system and the yard drain system. We're running our roof runoff system and our yard drain system to this ditch. The guys have the discharge line already set. They're packing down the dirt in the trench. We got a good topsoil sand mix. There's no issues here as far as really soft, you know, saturated ground. Every once in a while there's some flood water. During torrential rain, they'll end up with some water that stands behind the house for a short bit. We built the roof runoff system that's gonna grab up on the same line, on the same main, it's gonna grab up standing water during torrential rains that ends up laying in this low spot right behind the house. It does take a little while for the bulk water to dry up and disappear. Beautiful job. Guys went ahead, hooked up all the downspouts, ran them on a main. They put some yard drain inlets to grab up all this bulk water. We got the high ground over here. During torrential rains or if you have a thaw and you got frozen ground and just all the water runs like a luge to the back of this house, you want a way to grab up all that surface water. This is a surface water yard drain system combined with a roof runoff system. Guys did a really nice job. Beautiful job. If standing water is your only complaint, just put a yard drain in. It's gonna be a fraction of the cost. It's gonna be a fraction of the work. You're not hauling in all the stone. You're not wheelbarrowing all the stone in. You're not having to take all the dirt and haul it away. As you can see, the guys are using all the dirt. They're packing all the dirt. They're using the majority of the dirt. We're done back here. And this was piled high with dirt. They used it all. They went ahead and packed it real nice. Now this is a little bit of dirt that's left over from this yard drain roof runoff system. So we will have a little bit of haul out. But this is nothing when you compare it to a French drain system. So if standing water is your only complaint, you have an area of standing water, put in some inlet basins. This is the easiest system to snap together. I'll show you all the different parts and pieces that made this system. We'll go through it. The risers, how there's no tools required. Everything is a slip fit, no glue. Beautiful. Beautiful install. This is our morning job. We got to head to our afternoon job shortly after here. Guys are just finishing up the backfill. We'll put the grass back on top of the system. And then we'll head to our uh, second job where we'll do another roof runoff system. Got downspout number one, we got yard drain number one. Come over here, we got yard drain number two, downspout number two. Over here we got yard drain number three. Grabbing up all the water that just lays behind this house. Yard drain number four. Four yard drains combined with a roof runoff system. We got downspout number three. We don't need a grate. So we got a solid plug on this cover. We don't need a grate on it because we're not trying to take in surface water. We did want another inline sediment trap after this downspout to grab up all the shingle gravel.
If you have standing water problems in your yard, all you need is a yard drain. You don't need a French drain for just pooling standing water. So we put a turf restrictor plate around every circle drain because we don't want the grass to grow over it. Once the grass grows over it, you can't find it, it's super hard to locate. If the grass did grow over these, it would be super easy to take a shovel and just poke around and hit that big turf restrictor plate, cut the grass out, open that up. That's the one thing that you have to tell your clients. Make sure the grass doesn't grow over the circle drain. So in our case, a lot of our customers get busy, life happens, they forget about this stuff. We always put a turf restrictor plate around our circle drains. We feel it's a must. And obviously when you're dealing with a lot of leaves, we're gonna put a leaf filter on all the downspouts. You can see all the leaves. This is every fall. And then leaves are blowing around for months. It's super easy for the homeowner to just come here, grab the leaves out of this leaf filter. We wanna build a system that's easy to access. We wanna be able to discharge this water safely away from the house. We have good slope on the system and we have it running right out to a big ditch in front of the house, we're gonna grab up all that water and we're not gonna give it a chance to hang around. This is a yard drain roof runoff system combined. This is the most affordable way to manage your water. There's nothing easier to install than a yard drain. And if you put it in at the same time that you put your roof runoff system, very cost effective way of taking care of surface water bulk water this is a beautiful job what a talent this crew is grabbing up all that yard water directing it around this house out to the front yard professional job done by a professional crew if you found any of this information helpful give us a thumbs up it supports our channel if you have any comments regarding this installation leave them in the comments section I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.